Good morning. Hello. You know what, I'll take that. That's gonna be what we like to call good enough. I'm hoping you can't see too much of the mess in my bathroom because much like the mess in my bathroom, my life's a mess. It's not actually, it's just what we like to call O-V-E-R-W-H-E-L-M-I-N-G. Overwhelming. I don't know why I never made it to the spelling bees. I'm obviously home. I'm in my house where I'm safe. <laughs> Except I'm moving, and I should have started preparing to move a month ago. I have less than three weeks to get my house ready to move. That means sell my couch, my table, my bar stools, get rid of all my extra clothes, get rid of all my extra doohiggies. I never make it easy for myself. But nonetheless, I know I need to pick up my camera and vlog, so hello. Today I thought I would show you guys what I eat, mostly because I've been eating like shit, and this will force me to cook my own meals again. Today's the first day that when I woke up, I actually got out of bed. Crazy. I showered, I blue dried my hair, blow dried my hair, I shaved my legs. I know, crazy. My toothbrushes dead. I hate having to do it manually. It is kind of dark in my bathroom and that's because there is one singular light bulb that works. Where do I get the light bulb to replace that? Like, I don't even know. Yesterday I finally cleaned out my car. I tried to clean my room the other day because when I tell you it was the messiest it's been since like 2018. I have not been taking care of myself, which is something I say way too often. I have just been work focused with my different series and stuff. Ooh, it's purple. On TikTok for the past like month or two, haven't been taking care of myself. Woke up, took a shower, washing my face. I remembered to take my medicine right away this morning. If you guys didn't know, I take Vyvanse for my ADHD and it really helps my binging like a lot. I keep forgetting to take it like first thing in the morning and then my days don't get started until like 12 or 1 but the days that I do remember to take it I'm so freaking productive like right off the bat I don't binge I'm trying to like remember to have a water bottle next to my bed along with my pill bottle so I can just pop her in there first thing in the morning but I haven't had caffeine yet I have been believe it or not limiting my caffeine I was probably consuming on a bad day like 600 milligrams of caffeine and on a good day like four some days i don't even have caffeine at all i'm finally to the point where if i don't have caffeine i don't get a headache if that makes sense boy oh boy was it a journey to get there i still have caffeine though i definitely this hurts my heart to say i think it affects my anxiety i really think it does i either have to go on a run today or go to the gym like one of those two things has to happen but when i go to the gym i've been going at like two in the morning because social anxiety and I've been taking pre-workout at 2 in the morning. Do you know what pre-workout does to you at 2 in the morning? When I get back home, I'm so anxious that I just simply cannot. I don't think I can do that anymore. I either have to like force myself to go during the day or I don't get to take pre-workout. But I'm not me without pre-workout. I'm not me without caffeine. But I guess we'll see. You guys are coming with me today so you'll freaking find out what we end up doing. You better be mentally prepared for moving content because I have so much to declutter. So I have Packers. A moving company reached out to me. I might be working with them. We'll see. But just in case, I hired Packers. I hired my mother and I got a moving truck. On April 26th, as of right now, the Packers are coming to pack up my house and put it in the truck for us. But I still have to like go through everything, organize everything. That way it's ready to be packed up. I'm moving back to an apartment which is much smaller than my current house. I'm not gonna have the space. So I also have to get a storage unit. So I have to kind of organize what has to go to a storage unit versus what is coming to the apartment. It's gonna be an event. I was supposed to move in on April 28th. Now I'm not moving in till May 7th. So me and my mom had to get an Airbnb because I will no longer have this house. That's gonna be a lot. <laughs> But I can't even think about that part yet because I have so much to do before I can get there. I haven't done my skincare in so long. It feels so good. Have an update when it comes to like no fast food. When I went to Arizona, me and Annika had in and out and that was really good. When we were in Miami, hear me out. Me and Andrew found the best McDonald's that has ever existed. It had a 92% rating on Google. Take a glance at what the McDonald's around you are rated. Like people don't rate McDonald's very highly, but this McDonald's was gourmet. So we may have gone there a few times and now ever since I got home, I've just been in the habit of eating it again. So that's what we're trying to nip in the butt because I forgot how it feels to eat fast food because I didn't eat it for two months. And I'm gonna be honest, it's not worth it. The way you feel is just simply not worth it. If I wanna eat out, I'm gonna go to a restaurant because at least that's like semi, like home cooked or whatever. Hold on, I got some new product. I got a lot of new products. 
product. Because of my TikTok, I've started to get a lot of PR, which is, I'm sorry, I'm pulling my shorts in between my thunder thighs. I've started to get a lot of PR from TikTok, which is kind of weird because I've been on the internet for years. Companies have never been interested in sending me stuff. And now that my TikTok is kind of like, my TikTok is going nuts. I don't know what's happening over there. Now people are sending me stuff. It's getting to the point where I'm getting too much stuff. So I simply am just going to start giving it away to you guys because I feel like y'all deserve all the free shit. But when it comes to skincare, I'm always very curious. And this company, True Botanicals, sent me some stuff. We have a Chabula Extreme Cream, a Chabula Active Serum. What does this do? Pure Radiance Oil. Oh, boy, this stuff sounds like it's gonna be nice. Ginger Turmeric Cleansing Balm. This might be the thing I was gonna give to you guys. That's very yellow. I have a bunch of like makeup removing balms right now, so I might give this to you guys. I just need to add it to like a pile. Hmm, this smells very fresh. Kiehl's also sent me their hyaluronic acid. Do I put that on before the serums and the oil? I feel like before. You guys can roast me if I'm wrong. I feel like I'm always wrong. Oh, it feels so nice. Can I expose myself for a second? I squint a lot like this and I'm starting to get like lines right here and I've never thought about Botox. I've seen some like horror stories of what happens to people when they get Botox. I've been really considering it, especially since I'm moving back to Florida because I literally sit like this all the time and I'll get like headaches from like burrowing, furrowing my brow. I don't even know what that's called and it just hurts. So let me know if any of you guys have gotten Botox in between your eyebrows and if it hurts because I'm a wimp and also let me know if like you regret it because I would only get it here like nowhere else just this like is that an option? Can I only get it in between my eyebrows? That's the only place I want it. Ooh, this is like thick. For some reason, putting anything over hyaluronic acid feels wrong. My skin is gonna love me. Beautiful. Now, I feel like I put moisturizer on before oil. Otherwise, it won't penetrate the oil. Am I wrong? Ooh, this is like a thick cream. Oh, I put a lot on. This smells like it's not gonna kill me, if that makes sense. Which could be a facade. It could be a trip. And don't be alarmed, my face gets red upon touch. So, now all I have left is oil. I'm doing a lot, maybe I should just stop here. I mean, it can't hurt. <laughs> my hands are all moisturizer-y. Do, 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 do. Is that gonna soak in though? I gotta wash my hands. Now I'm going to go downstairs and make some breakfast. Before I continue on with this video, I wanna say a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online. With BetterHelp, you are able to tap into a network of over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. To get started, you just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy. That way, BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist from their network. Then you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether it's via text, chat, phone, or video call. You can message your therapist at any time and schedule live sessions when it's convenient for you. And if your therapist is not the right fit for any reason, you can switch to a new therapist at no additional charge. With BetterHelp, you get the same professionalism you would expect from in-office therapy, but with a therapist that is custom picked for you, has more scheduling flexibility, and at a more affordable price. You can get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com backslash Samantha. That's betterhelp.com backslash Samantha. And I've also linked them in the description box below. Once again, a huge thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video, and let's get back into it. Welcome back. We're in my kitchen, Sam's Gourmet Kitchen. I'm a chef. My HelloFresh package came. HelloFresh sponsored one of my TikToks, like, I don't know, a while ago. I don't think that we've ever done a HelloFresh sponsor on my YouTube channel. I got my Factor Box yesterday, and this HelloFresh box just came today. I actually really need this, let's be honest. I just told you guys I've been eating like way too much fast food. I knew that I was like gonna not be eating fast food again, so I stocked up on my favorite Zaxby sauces because sometimes all it takes is like dipping your chicken in fast food sauce and that gets rid of the craving. I know that's probably not so great for you, but who the frig cares? I'm excited. Now I have actual meals to cook. I have Firehouse cheeseburger, crispy chicken and bacon Alfredo, one pan trattoria tortellini bake, and pork sausage penny in a creamy sauce, but I subbed the pork sausage for chicken. I know everyone and their mom is sponsored by HelloFresh, but I will say that. Like, this is not sponsored by them, obviously. Look, little tortellini. I need directions when I cook. I cannot cook without recipes. And they make it so I don't have to think. And I appreciate that. It's kind of like I went to the grocery store today without actually having to leave my house. Look at all those boxes. Just got factor in yesterday, so I don't like have a ton of room for this. Oh. Who turned the TV on? Yum! 
till I grab my breakfast. Whenever I am getting back into eating at home, ugh, I always get little yogurt. Oh my gosh, come out. Let it go. Oh, it's like, it's like a pudding cup. I don't know, are these any good? I'm sure they are. My go-to, easy, quick, I don't have to think about it breakfast. I just have so much to clean. So much around here that has to be done. My counters are not clean, don't judge. I also like could have worn a more flattering shirt. Why am I so insecure right now? I don't know. Okay, breakfast. I have a yogurt. I have not tried this one before. It's the Dan and Lighten Fit Greek Vanilla Yogurt. Some berries. My favorite granola. This is the Kind Cinnamon Oat Granola. Let it go, let it go. I know this is for soup, but I just like to use it for whatever. We're gonna start with our yogurt. To mix it up, it can kind of look sketchy. When I was doing my no fast food challenge and like literally cooking every single meal for myself, I learned that this is actually not the most fulfilling breakfast. This won't keep me full for very long. I think it's because it doesn't have as much fat or protein. I stay fuller longer on like a more savory breakfast, but this is what I have. So we're gonna make it work. If I don't measure my granola, I'll eat half the bag. Okay, now we have boring yogurt and granola. And I'm going to pick out some fruit. I don't know, I might have waited a little too long to eat these. They're looking a little suspicious. I don't wait very long in between meals either. I kind of have learned with my eating disorder, I've learned to not let myself get like really hungry. Because when I'm really hungry, I'm not thinking about what I'm eating. I just will take anything, everything that I can shove into my mouth. And the more mindful I'm able to be while I eat, the better. I have a handful of berries. Oops. I'm gonna go rinse these off. <laughs> no, Abby. I would probably consider this more of a snack. It's gonna work for now. I have access to an entire kitchen of food if I'm hungry in a little bit. Always clean up after yourself, says the woman with the disgusting house at the moment. <sighs> now I know what you're thinking. This is not a Stanley. And you would be correct. This is not a Stanley. This is a Simply Modern 40 ounce tumbler. And I know that I have a lot of explaining to do because I have not shut up about my Stanley cup since I bought it months ago. Why is there a truck? <laughs> Like, are they turning around? I hate when like random people are just in front of my house. I'm like low-key so excited to be in an apartment again. Apartments feel so much safer. As I've had my Stanley, I've started to notice that if I leave water in it for any more than like an hour, it tastes like plastic from like the straw. I never really used to be an ice water person, so I only recently started to put ice in my water and I know I would notice that it just would not keep the ice in there for very long and then I went to Arizona Annika had this water bottle in a different color she would put ice in it and it would last for like three days and it would still taste clean and crisp the entire time so I decided to get one and I haven't used my Stanley since this is cheaper I believe the straw might spill stuff but like it's way less like look if oh that was coming out the straw the Stanley spills really bad I feel bad being like a Stanley girly for so long but I'm now a simple modern greens. Trust me, I'm not excited about it either. Pretty sure this is an alcohol cup, like for whiskey or something. I don't drink whiskey. Somebody left a comment <laughs> on my last video saying, you drink a lot, which is just funny to me because I drink much less than the average 24 year old. I probably drink once every couple of months. I try not to like black out because that's just not fun. As you get older, you realize like blacking out is not fun. Hangovers are so bad. Let's just say I grew up around alcohol being abused. I had a really bad outlook on alcohol for a long time so i never have really understood casual drinking like getting a drink so it's really funny to me when i get comments like you drink a lot because i probably get fully drunk at maximum three times a year no, I don't like greens. Nobody likes them. I've tried the Bloom ones, and I'm not like the biggest fan. And I know that like Bloom gets a lot of hate, so like I don't even know if they actually work. I don't know if any greens actually work. These ones taste less artificial compared to the Bloom ones, so I'm gonna drink these instead. I can't drink greens without a straw. Cheers! Like that doesn't taste very aggressive. Like it doesn't taste good. Green powder usually is like violently aggressive. Even if it didn't do anything, placebo effect makes me think it did. Mmm, that's good yogurt. Mm -mm. I approve. 
ASMR. Sam left me this little note because she found a four leaf clover this morning. Ignore the mess. Is she not the best? I'm gonna be so sad not having Sam around. Sam got the cutest apartment. I need every single one of you guys to go to Sam's like Instagram and just like congratulate her because she has worked so hard to like get her own place. It has always been her dream to have a little studio in Nashville like ever since she was a kid. Life has put Samantha through it, okay? But she did not give up on her dream to have this apartment and she found the most perfect, cute, Disney Channel main character studio apartment in Nashville. We're moving her in this weekend. I'm just, I'm so sad like to not have her around. I could cry, but I'm so proud of her. I'm a pro at like long distance relationships, long distance friendships. It's pretty much all I've ever had. So like it's gonna be fine. I just like don't know what I would have done this year without Samantha. The fact that we've only been friends for a year, but I feel like I've known her my entire life. It's just so crazy. Like I'm tearing up. I myself have been through a lot. I'm a Christian, but most Christians would probably hate me because I don't have the same views that the church tends to have a lot. I just believe that like Jesus wants us to love people and Jesus would not be somebody that would be judging people and the way that church has become honestly makes me sad because I just don't think that's anything that it was intended to be. Anyways, I've prayed for years for a friendship like the one me and Sam have. I don't know, I'm gonna miss her. She leaves me four leaf clovers but she loves Florida and I can visit her in Nashville and she can visit me in St. Pete and it's gonna be great. I'm just very happy for her because her life is going very good. I'm gonna eat my yogurt now. I got gas, a responsible adult. I have two errands to run. Well, one, I don't know if that counts as an errand. My first task, I don't know if it counts as an errand. Errand, errand, an errand. I'm running to Dutch Bros and getting myself a little sippy sippy. I do have like a lot of Alani news at home that I could drink. I simply would rather get Dutch Bros. And I need to go to PetSmart because my cats need food. Oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. My cats need food and I need to get a new little seat cover for the back seat of my Jeep because Duncan shat all over the last one. I cleaned out my car yesterday so she's all nice and spotless. Looks like I don't have any pants on. Already know where I'm going. You already know where I'm going. Dutch bros. Never a line at this one and I feel like people just don't know that it's open. Like surely. Do you want a pup cup? Where'd you go? You want a pup cup? I feel like he definitely said please. Hi, good, how are you? Can I have a small electric berry? And can I have sugar free? And I am telling you, I'm the best bitch you ever made. I'm just like constantly remixing songs. Thank you. I was so quick and easy and conversationless and not painful at all. The introvert in me is very happy with how quick that was. Yummy, yummy in your tummy. Trying to be like a good YouTuber and use my actual camera and not my phone. When I went to Arizona, you guys told me that I can order the Dutch Bros like half sweet because the only thing I've never loved about Dutch Bros is how aggressive flavors are. Almost too much where I can't finish it. And I always get sugar free, but even that doesn't help most of the time. I get an electric berry half sweet with sugar free Red Bull. It's so much better. I have a work call in six minutes. I'm dangerously close to an Olive Garden right now. I would F up an Olive Garden salad. I wish I had a better view, honestly. I'm staring at a strip mall. Is that a TJ Maxx? Sometimes it's good to just sit and think about life. I feel like with hustle culture, we forget to just like breathe sometimes. So I'm gonna take these next five minutes to just sit here like this with my eyes closed, talk to myself, relax. This one is for the boys with the booming system. Tap down AC with the cooling system. When he come up in the club, he be blazing up. He got stacks on deck like he's saving up. I'm too good for the music industry. I'm making tortellini bake. I don't really love tomatoes, but I'm just gonna trust the process. I need one of you to tell me if there is a difference between minced garlic and smushed garlic. I bought like a garlic press, but I don't know if that's like mint. So if you could let me know, because it would be a lot easier. Breadcrumbs, all the cheese that's gonna be in it. My inner Wisconsinite is dying. Drizzle of olive oil, some salt, and some pepper. This is a new pan I got from Target, never used her. It said it was non-toxic, because apparently pans can be toxic. It's something new every day. How do you know if a pan is oven proof? Oh well. 
like that's not enough garlic. Am I crazy? I feel like I've hit a wall and I had caffeine, which makes no sense. In go the tomatoes. I've learned that there's nothing worse than unseasoned food. I think the reason I never liked home cooked stuff is because it, it was never seasoned. A cup of water. Ew. I've never added water to a sauce before. I don't know if this is giving like lunch vibes, but for me, it is today. Got myself some tortellinis. Transfer pan to oven until golden brown. I hope this is an oven safe pan. There we go. Yummy. Tortellini. You can cook at home. I could have gotten Zaxby's, but I at least know what's in this food. I put it on a plate. It's very hot. <sighs> I'm not saying this because I made it. Shit's good. Mmm. I can feel myself coming back to life. 10 out of 10. How does this work? Put my hands on them? Bye, right, bitch. <laughs> I'm a snack. Uh, I know it's been a minute. I'm gonna need you to forgive me. I can explain. I have not been to the gym, but I'm here now, so that's all that should matter. And if you don't forgive me, there's the door. Are you ready? No money blender. Oh. I needed something less harsh for my body today. Don't you worry. I'm gonna spice it up for you. I'm gonna shotgun it. Do I open it, then put the hole? I brought my keys just for this. No, 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 stop it. Let's get it. Somebody asks, tell them I have migraines. Got designer shades just to hide your face. And I wear them around cause I'm cooler than you. <laughs> Let's actually do something. Why am I so scared? This is episode five. I can't still be a pussy PSA. Pussy PSA. Don't you dare let me forget that I'm setting my shades down. Unless you think I should put them on. Yes. I should put them on. I walked in and I saw these bad boys right here. Core sliders. I'm very educated in the core department. How does this work? Put my hands on them. Bye, bitch. <laughs> I feel like my feet, maybe. <gasps> we got a cockroach. These were not made for me. Who's ready to watch this muscle mommy bench? Yes. Should I warm up with the bar? This is what we like to call bench. My feet are firmly planted on the ground. Oh my gosh, that's so heavy. How much does this thing weigh? Psych. Did I fool ya? I'm just saying, if I was a gym bro, I would be intimidated. What I'm about to do, I'm not completely confident in. I do trust the gym mommy that's in here to save my life. Don't take chances if you don't have a spotter. Oh, that's heavy. Wait, am I strong? I've got 17.5. Don't know if that means anything to you. Okay. Never show your true pain. Okay. Ow! Never show your true pain. I love working out. The worst part is getting the shoes on and all. <laughs> yes. I really want to learn how to do the splits. I'm going to start stretching for that every day. I watched a quick tutorial and I think I'm ready to go. We're going to start in a lunge position. How did she get both hands on the floor? Why is there no music? How long do I have to hold it? Were you counting? I'm not very flexible. Wait a damn minute. Ow, that's scary. There's only one thing that can make that cooler. Nah, no. I ain't never been with a buddy, with a buddy. She calls, so I added to the tally. I survived the gym. They always say you never regret a gym session until you go to the gym at two in the morning. It's currently 325. Party. Gonna be honest i didn't think i was gonna make it through that gym session tonight and no part of me wanted to go but once i was there it's like well may as freaking well you know in case you were wondering i had the extra tortellini for dinner that means i had tortellini twice did you have a good day dunk it duncan just ate all the cat food <laughs> what did you do Oh, my babies, my baby. Cat check, how are you doing? They just kind of follow me. 